They've been here before. It's another Christmas number one for Arsenal, but can they hold on to top spot this time? Their success over the first half of the campaign provides the chance to right the wrongs of last season to avoid the springtime wobble that proved pivotal. And he's amongst the targets for this first long so foul throw. Wall Prowse trying his luck, and just a little sighter. Right. Erdegaard. Oh, brilliant. Just magnificent Saka straight at the goalkeeper. Would have been a picture book goal. Such was the quality of the approach play. The pattern set. Arsenal are going to dominate the ball. Keep West Ham pinned in. West Ham try and counter. This may well be another. Emerson getting it in just too far ahead of Bowen. And then Bowen pulling it back, and Sojak rifles it in. Against the run of play, and against the expected narrative. West Ham, with a rare attack, lead at Arsenal. The way he holds on to the ball and then delivers the pass out wide. And what a ball this is, so difficult to defend against. Bowen almost gets a touch at the near post and then does brilliantly does he do brilliantly to keep it in? I think he does. Of course, it will be checked. Socek hammers home from six yards. The question is, did the ball go out or not? Brilliant work from Jared Bowen to keep it alive. He thinks he's kept it alive. The packet are the man that lost it in this latest Arsenal attack. Jesus into one Saka. Good save that. Good quick reactions from Alphonse Ariola, instinctively throwing up a left hand to keep the clean sheet intact as well as the lead. Oh, more intricate quality football from Arsenal, but what a save from Ariola. At point blank range, he sticks up a left arm and makes a fabulous save. Really been able to give Arsenal something a little bit different, particularly against sides who play with a low block as they're facing today. And here's Erdegaard from the corner. Zinchenko trying to feather it in, and it was Ben White that came to meet him. Jesus with a lovely turn, Erdegaard. Saka playing it back in, it's a clever little flick! And Martinelli can't finish off what would have been another magnificent Arsenal goal. Jesus down inside the penalty area, the VAR is having a look at that. Well, only a couple of shots on target for Arsenal so far. West Ham's one on target, giving them the lead. Here's Saka, off the post. And he came back so quickly that Trossard couldn't react. Ogbonna gets himself into a really bad position. Alvarez is the deepest, loses the ball. And Ogbonna's too high up, can't get back to deal with the run of Saka. He's slow to see him. And how unlucky is he drilling it towards that near post? And West Ham get away with it, giving the ball away cheaply inside their own final third. And Arsenal unable to punish them. Martinelli driving with intent. Every path towards goal quickly blocked off. It's Rice! Well, it would have been some goal and some story. In from Wall Prowse and in for two from Dinos Mavropanos. What a time to score your first Premier League goal against your former employer to send them 2 0 down. James Wall Prowse is always so good with his delivery and it's on the money again. But what a header this is from Mavropanos in off the bar. Fantastic header. A goal early in each half for West Ham United. It's all out attack now for Arsenal. Pretty much a back three. There they go with another lovely little drag back. 
Oh, just brilliant again. Just sublime. And Jesus saw all the good work come to nothing. They've had the chances. They just cannot put them away. Watching the last 20 minutes of playing time. Nelson letting it run across his body. Feeding and Ketia. Safal got it away. Saka's effort blocked by Socek. Here's Martin Erdegaard. Trossard, good save, Ariola. Stood firm when called upon. Saka for Trossard, who may well be the player that's about to be replaced. Erdegaard just waiting for the right moment to play the cross. Didn't open up for him. Saliba can get it forward here for Saka, trying to change the angle and couldn't divert it either side of Ariola. Erdegaard again trying to waltz his way through, past all the resistance. Smith Rowe, comfortable save. Erdegaard! Another fine stop. In from Erdegaard. Attacked by Saliba. No, it will be the first time in 30 years they've won away to both Spurs and Arsenal in the same season. And then Rice with the challenge, and it's a penalty. And there could be one final ignominy yet. It just adds the seal to West Ham United's night. Well, it's clear cut, isn't it? He has a little slip, lunges to get the ball. A definite penalty. He has scored in each of his last two Premier League appearances against Arsenal. Can he make it three in a row and 3-0 on the night? The answer is no. But I'm sure that will just be an academic footnote to a big, big evening for West Ham United. Raya making the save, but it is of no consequence. It's a night of Gunners' gloom and Hammers' heroism. Arsenal denied first place by their first home defeat of the season in the face of fine margins and fine defending, not to mention rugged resistance. David Moyes' maiden victory on this ground is a stunning result for West Ham United, but not for their old boys. First home defeat of the season for Mikel Arteta. They're two points behind Liverpool at the halfway stage of the campaign. West Ham up to six.